in this InDesign tutorial, we're going to be looking at tabs. We're going to be formatting our text so it looks a little bit tidy. We started out looking a bit like this. So it's like a menu for a cafe. All I did was I changed the small and the large using character styles, but other than that, it's all done with tabs. So let's get started. So to do tabs, we need to select all of the text. So click inside your text box, Command A, and that will do select all of the text, or you can just drag it, of course. To activate the tabs, go to Type, go to Tabs there. Or you could also do Shift Command T. So what we've got at the top of here is a ruler. So this is where you can add your tabs just above in this little gray bar. So if you want to add tabs, all you do is you just click in this kind of gray bar at the top here. I'm just going to get rid of those for a sec. We've also got on the left hand side, left justified tab, center justified tab and right justified tab. Basically, if we had a tab to this 310 and we add a tab marker, as I like to call them, Well, if that's a left justified tab, it'll appear on the left of the text that you're formatting. If you do it to the right, so let's just pull this over, and you add the right hand side justified tab. It basically, the, the tab marker will be on the right, and the same with the centered, if you put it in the center, it'll be centered, just like formatting text, basically. So I'm just gonna get rid of that tab again. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Right. So, so I'm going to select all of the text. I'm going to add um, a left justified tab around about 150. So I'm going to sort of click just in between the ruler and this big gray band. This is sort of small gray band. So I'm just going to click there. On the left here, you can see that it says 149. So if you want to adjust that to an accurate number, just type in, say, like 150. And I've now got my uh, tab in at 150. I think that might be a centered tab so i'm just going to make sure i've got it left justified so it's now left justified and i'm also going to add another tab around about 145 so i'm going to add a one 145 but i'm going to have it a right justified you'll see what happens in a minute so 145 i'm going to type that in 145 so this large is going to appear at 145 and the 310 is going to appear at 150. so i'm going to add the tabs in so all I'm really doing there is just pressing tab on my keyboard next to the letter Q and it's shifting over the text over to where the tab marker is. Now I'm going to select all again. It's really important that we have select all because if not, you'll end up with different sort of tab markers on different lines and it'll get a little bit out of like synchronization. So we can now adjust this tab if you like by dragging it or we can pull it a little bit closer to the 320, 310 sort of price. I've got a bit of 148. And there you go, I've got my tab marker there. I think there might be a little um, space there, so I'm just gonna get rid of the space. There we go, select all, and now what I've got here is the large next to the 310. So what if I want to drag over this small um, Americano price? So what we do is we select all again. Now it's all gonna get a little bit out of synchronization again here, um, because I'm gonna add another tab. So I'm gonna click around about 110, and it's gonna start bringing these tabs in again. That's a right justified tab, turn it to a left. And I'm gonna make sure that's at 110. And at 95, I'm gonna add a right one in there again. Okay. Now I need to add the tabs again to small. Okay, I best go through and just remove that space that's also in there. Okay, let's start to fine tune that now. So I'll select all again, and where it says 105, I'm just gonna move that over to maybe 108. And now that's moved it further over. Now we can adjust these. I think we've not got enough space at the end of this uh, first line of pricing, so I'm gonna move this back maybe 10. So I'm gonna click on that, and put it at 98. And then I'm gonna get this one here and put it at 100. Make sure I've got select all. 100 there we are if you want to add a dotted line in between americano or any of these uh, coffees here and small this is how you do it so this is called a leader so i'm going to select all again i'm going to add to this right justified tab i'm going to click on that and it says here leader if you put a little dot in there and i press tab you will get this 
leader mark in here. So I'm, you can add all sorts of different things in there. Um, I like to have a, add a dot or a line, and depending on which font you've you've got, it may be a joined up line or it may be just a dashed line. So bear that in mind when you're doing your font choices. But you can add anything you wish in there. You could add a letter if you want to add a letter. You could add absolutely anything you want into there. That's how to add a leader to your tabs as well. I'm just gonna actually remove that because I feel like it doesn't really add to anything to the design aesthetic. Okay, so that's how to use tabs to format your text in Adobe InDesign. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button, share it with a friend, consider subscribing to the channel, and why not check out one of my videos, which is on screen now. Thanks for watching.